Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a floating car in space easy in After Effects, let's begin. To make it I will be using a 3D Earth model, check this video's description to download Earth 3D model for free. First let's create new composition. I will name it Earth and ensure it is the same size as the main composition and then, I'll set the duration to 3 seconds since I want the Earth effect to be exactly that long. After clicking OK, drag and drop the Earth 3D model into the composition. Click on Make Comp Size, Otherwise the earth will be too large, now hit OK and then press S and scale it as you wish. Let's also reposition it, I will move it to the right side like so. Now expand earth transform settings and click on orientation stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Now scroll to the end and slightly rotate the orientation to achieve a smooth earth rotation. Let's quickly check it. That looks cool to me. Before we add a floating car, I will adjust the earth layer. Let's pre-compose it first. I will name it Earth and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Duplicate Earth layer now and select the bottom one and apply a drop shadow effect. Click on an eyedropper tool and select blue color. Increase opacity a bit and then bump up softness. Now apply a glow, I will use a deep glow plugin. Under a deep glow effect, bump up radius to around 1000. The shadow color is too dark for my liking, so I'm going to click on shadow color and select a brighter shade of blue. That looks way better now. Now let's select top earth layer and apply a glow on it as well. In case it's too bright, decrease the exposure. Then apply curves effect. I'll push the shadows to the right to make the dark areas darker, and pull the highlights to the left to brighten them up. We can also add a Lumetri color and play around with the colors until the earth looks good to you. Once you are satisfied with it, go back to your main composition. I will duplicate my clip and then right click on duplicated one, then go to time and select freeze frame. Now select a pen tool and let's mask out the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done masking, cut that layer by pressing Ctrl and X on a keyboard and then go to Earth Composition and press Ctrl and V to paste the car. Extend that layer to match the Earth layer and make it 3 seconds long. Now enable 3D on that layer and press P on keyboard. Scroll to the beginning of the layer and then click on Position Stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Bump up Z position to move the car far from the camera. Now scroll to the end of the layer and then slightly change position of the car. If you play the video, you will see it's not so smooth and the path is linear. To make it move smoother, select both position keyframes and right-click on them and click on keyframe interpolation. Change spatial interpolation to continuous bezier and hit OK. Now zoom into your car and here you will see those handles which you can drag and create a smooth curved position path. Let's check it now. That looks way better to me. Now we can apply several effects on the car layer as well. Let's apply a glow first. I will decrease the exposure because the car is too bright for me. Also let's apply curves effect and play around with the shadows and highlights until the car looks better. Once you are satisfied with the results, go back to your main composition. Now go to the project panel, drag the earth composition, and drop it into your timeline. I will move the main clip forward like so and then let's check the video. Looks so cool, to make the transition more interesting, I will add a shake from my shakes pack. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.